eating. Everyone does it, most enjoy it, and it is needed in order to live. Yet how does it work? How does your body get the energy it needs from the food you eat? And how does chemistry make it all possible? These are the questions that will be answered in this short video. We start with the digestive system, one of the most important parts of eating. With the digestive system, we break down food and use the broken down food to absorb into the bloodstream for energy. We start with the mouth and the chemical and mechanical processes of the grinding of teeth and saliva. The food is then moved down the throat into the esophagus down to the stomach as seen right here. In the stomach, it is broken down even further using hydrochloric acid that is naturally formed in the stomach. From there, it is moved into the small intestine where it is absorbed into the bloodstream uh, through the intestinal walls. The other main component of the chemistry of eating are neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are chemicals in the brain that affect things like mood and appetite. Three chemicals in particular, glucagon, epinephrine, and relin, uh, affect hunger and the feeling of being full the most. Triggers for these are lower blood sugar levels and lower amino acid levels in the blood, which cause um, the chemicals to be released in the brain, which makes you hungry or full. All in all, the process of you eating, which keeps you alive, is made possible through the mechanical and chemical processes of chemistry.